How to make retail strips in Microsoft Excel. Excel is a great tool for easily illustrating retail strips that you will be creating in this assignment. To start off, let us review the basic Excel tools. Setting up your Excel worksheet. Open up a new blank spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel. Now, let's orient the page in a way that will easily let us transfer your finished retail strip into Word later. Click on the View tab and select Page Layout. This shows where the pages begin and end. Adding colors and borders to cells. You will need to color and border the cells to make features such as roads and stores. Let's make a road. Highlight a row or column of cells by clicking and dragging. Right click on the selection and select Format Cells. Under the Fill tab, you can select a color. You can further edit the color by clicking on Fill Effects. Under the Border tab, you may select a border. Choose a style and thickness of line and then select Outline and click OK. Repeat this for all the roads in your retail strip. Here we're going to add a second road, same border, and click OK. To edit borders of particular cells, right-click on a cell of choice and select Format Cells, and go to the Borders tab again. You can check and uncheck the sides of the cell that you wish to have a border on. Click OK. Adding labels and text. You will need to add text and labels to make your retail strip communicate information. To label your roads, for example, double-click on a cell and type in a label. Let's name this John Street. To format the text, have the cell selected and click on the Home tab. Choose a font and font size for, um, for your label. Align the text by selecting the centered icons for better presentation. Sometimes, adding text with a text box is better for certain things like rotated labels. Click on the Insert tab and select Text Box. Click and drag to make a text box. Use the green rotate circle to rotate it. Right click on it and select Format Shape. Under Fill, select No Fill and under line color select no line click close click on the text box and type in a name let's name the street Queen Street once again select this uh, the label and go to the home tab here you can choose what type of font and size you want your label to have and once again orient it to be centered Advanced Cell Formatting Now let's add some buildings and stores to your retail strip. Let's make a single building represent one type of store such as food. Right click on a cell of interest and select Format Cells. Once again, under the Fill tab, choose a color. Click the Fill Effects if you wish to make the fill color more advanced. Click on the Border tab, select a thicker outline under Styles, to demonstrate that it's a freestanding building. Select, select the outline preset and click OK. Let's say you are trying to map a building with multiple stores and uses. Select the cells of interest by clicking and dragging your mouse. Right click on the selection and click Format Cells. Under the Border tab, select a thick borderline once again and click on the outline preset. Now, select a line of regular thickness and click on the Inside Presets. Click OK. You can see that the dark outline represents the whole building while the inner lines demonstrate different stores within the building. Right-click on a cell within it and select Format Cells and go to Fill and select Colors to represent different categories of stores. Let's say you are mapping a building with multiple stores and multiple stories, such as a two-story building with different stores on the first story and residential apartments on the top story. Select cells in two rows and columns by clicking and dragging. 
Right click on the selection and click Format Cells. Go to the Border tab once again. Select the thick outline for the outline of the building. Select the regular one for the inside. And now you can select a dotted or broken line and click the border between the two floors, which is this. Click OK. You will see that the building appears to have stores and spaces on both stories. Once again, click on the individual cells and assign colors through Format Cells, Fill, and clicking on the colors you wish. For the residential, we'll pick a different color. To better communicate how many stories a building contains, you could also type in a number on the building. Just remember to include it in the legend after. In this case, I'm typing in 2 to demonstrate that this building has two stories. Once again, I'm going to orient it to be centered. Note, don't worry about resizing the cells to look better. You can do this in Word afterwards. Adding a legend. Using the same techniques from this tutorial, you can make a legend to describe what different borders, colors, and label indicate. Choose a blank spot on your page to make your legend. Here I'm just going to copy and paste my legend from a previous document. So there's my legend. Tip. You don't have to mimic the categories, borders, or colors that I've used in this tutorial exactly. Be creative and ensure that there's a hierarchy and differentiation between different categories. And don't forget to include a title. Let's name this Streetsville Retail Strip. Watch our second tutorial to learn how to bring your retail strip into Word.